Hello everyone, it's Rick Pasek, the Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we're going to start a uh, four-part series on bloodworms, um, so I'm going to use the same uh, intro for all four of them, no use doing other ones. So there's going to be uh, 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 four different takes on bloodworms um, that uh, I've had success with over the years. Uh, one of them is an experiment, um, that's the double, you'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're up to. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get tying. Take three. <laughs> Been one of those weird morning uh, days here. Just all kinds of camera issues and other stuff. So um, in the vise today, we have a Hens VL550. Think hammer hook, one of my favorite hooks for this style of chronometer. Um, for the thread, Semperfly Nano Silk. Uh, nice and thin, so 12, 18, or 24 aught. Um, for the tail, I'm going to use some Hens Marabou in red. For the underbody, some Semperfly Hollow Tinsel. Um, and for a little bit of extra flash, just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of crystal red from Semperfly. Just a very little, not very much. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Try not to get too frustrated, as I tell you, the last couple <clears throat> happens every once in a while. As you guys know, I don't usually edit my mistakes out of the videos, but uh, both of the things that happened were not anything I could control and kind of blew up the whole thing, so no choice. <clears throat> so first thing, just a little tiny bit, not much. Marabou. Not gonna, not gonna use very much here. Just want a very slick little, little tail. So I'm just gonna go right up to behind that bead, and pinch wrap, and then just get that right in there, all the way back. That's not quite enough. Some slipped out of my fingers. That's okay. At least that's what I'm telling myself, that it's okay. Because otherwise, the camera might end up going through the wall. And that's not good. I'm just going to tie on some more. Don't worry about all the little scruffles. They'll all get cleaned up in a bit. And you want this facing down. Right, so when it's when it's uh, in the water, it's hanging down. Okay, just gonna go under that tail and come back up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna pinch it and pinch that off because, like I said, I don't want it too too crazy long. Now I'm gonna take one piece of of that chenille, that red. I'm the chenille the. Hmm. Flash. I'm just gonna take one piece, just fold it over, tie it in all the way back. Just leave it on right on top. Cut that to the same length, roughly, as your marabou. Back forward. And this is why, because you go back and forth a few times, so that's why I say use a 12 to 24 aught nano silk keep a fairly thin body you don't want to make it's, i mean it's a chronomet it's a uh, blood worm you don't want to uh, don't want to make it too thick so all the way back to where the tie-in point is of the tail all the way back forward i like doing just a little half hitch right behind the bead there and then don't nick that hook tip because this these hooks are crazy sharp I found that Arex Hens Panic uh, those three brands are just 
stupid sharp. I found uh, Tiemco and Mustad and a few of the others are just not what they used to be. I don't know. I don't know if it's just uh, manufacturing processes, material quality. I don't know. But I'm just finding that uh, um, A-Rex hens and uh, Hannock are just one step above. And I mean, that's one of the reasons I accepted to get onto the A-Rex protein because I really believe in their hooks, right? So, okay, so that's done. Now, all that's left now is just to put a little bit of Juvie resin on it. it this is a, a very bright pattern. Lots of, uh, lots of shine to it, right? So... But this is also um, the uh, hollow tinsel and stuff is very easily broken. So I always make sure that I cover it with either a UV resin like I'm doing now or a crazy glue, right? Or a Sally Hansen's, two or three coats of Sally Hansen's. So I'm just keeping the UV from flowing. Actually, I'm not liking how that looks back there. Take some of that off. There we go. And then just hit it. And I always put a coat of uh, Sally Hansen's or um, head cement or crazy glue on after this. Um, <clears throat> on bigger flies, not so much on these little guys, but on bigger flies that I have to coat like this, I have seen some big toothy critters like pike and stuff go right through the uh, UV resin. But when you put a coating of uh, a head cement of some sort on it, it uh, it becomes hard like a rock, and then they don't they're not able to sink their teeth in so that's it simple fly um not crazy hard to to tie in any way um and super effective these things blood worms in general if you get them at the right time and and, and get down right down you want to you want to be within a foot of the uh of the bottom um th these things can be just crazy i've had some crazy wicked days on blood worms so Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you subscribed, awesome. If you have not, consider doing so. And make sure you guys hit that uh, notification bell too so you don't miss anything that comes out. Die lines, everybody. <laughs>